hello everyone uh, in this video i'll be showing you how you can convert uh, xls x to shape file and now uh, as you can see here you have my xls you can see points dot xls x and it has the first column with the forest block number latitude and longitude so I think the first thing we need to do, we are going to use QGs at first, then later on I'll show you how you can do it using R programming. So we are also going to write code uh, as we convert the XLSX file to shapefile. So I'm using uh, QGs, make sure you have QGs and uh, it's up and running. Uh, before that, I'm going to convert this. I'm going to save the XLSX file as CSV. So we come here to file, then save as. I'm saving in my folder here called GeoPandas. So I open that. Then I'm going to save with the same name, but I'm going to change to CSV, that is comma delimited. So I click on that one. Then I say save. So it is it, it already exists in the folder. I'm just going to replace it. So I click on yes. Okay, now I have the points.csv. I come here to my QGs then and uh, go to menu, layer, then add layer, then add delimited text layer. I click on that one. Then I say uh, points.csv open then uh, i come here to x field and y field so i say x field i think i need to change here to latitude make sure you change otherwise it won't work then y field is the longitude so x field is latitude y field is longitude and then uh, make sure also it reflects here down here then um, I'm going to click on add then close okay now you can see i've added the points here as xls or csv so i come here right click then go to export then save features as so here i'm going to save as the format is s3 shapefile you can see we have different formats here geojson uh geo package and so on so i'm going to use the Geo, uh, the S3 shape file. Then um, uh, the file name, I'm going to choose the file name and I can say these are the exported data. Exported data. Then I click on save and then down here change the CRS to WGS84 uh, APSG4326. Then I click on OK. So when I go back to the folder, I can see we have the exported data as shapefile, and it has other files like um, the CPG, DBF, PRJ, and the SHX. OK. And now this is how you can convert the XLS to or csv to shapefile now i'm going to show you how you can do it in r so i'm going to open my r studio then i come here and say create uh, r script so new file create an r script like so then the first thing is to i think to install the packages right so you're going to use the sf package and the read excel so make sure you install the packages so here i can say uh, install install and load the packages then here we say uh, install packages then you pass in the name of the package you want to install so you can say sf then the next one is uh, install dot packages. Then we say read XL. 
right so if you run these two lines of code they are going to install these packages in your system so i'm not going to do that because i already have them i'll just go ahead and comment then um down here i will say now i want to import the libraries for the packages so i can say uh import you can say import the packages then i say library then i say sf then library library and i say read xl so if i run the code then i also run that line then the next step is to set the working directory so i say set so these are comment set my working directory okay then i say set working directory and i'm going to pass in the directory where my data is saved right so i come here and uh, copy the path so i say ctrl c come back to the code put in the quotation then i paste in the path where my data is saved so here i have to change the the backslash you can inc you can put the single single forward slash or double backslash so i'm going to use the double backslash so i have to add like this way then i run the code then the next thing is to say dir to check whether my directory has something so if i run that you can see i have some files here you have the exported shape files and the, the points xls and and so on okay uh now the next thing is to is to set the 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 data because within this folder we have these files but we want to use the xls x so i can say um xls x underscore file file underscore data equal to then i pass in the xls file so this one i can copy this say ctrl c then come here and uh, paste then i can also run that one so the next one is the shape file so i can say the shape file shape file path uh this is this is the name of the shape file that will be uh written into the folder so i can say this is a final underscore data underscore points dot shp this means that it's going to save as shape file then down here i'm going to say uh, xls xls x uh, data is equal to uh -huh, xls data is equal to read underscore xl s x then i say the xls file path right so this one so we are going to read this data which is the points dot xls x so if i run that then i move on to the next code uh -huh. so you can also combine if you let's say your data has latitude and longitude you can combine the two columns and uh, create a geometry column uh, for your data so here we can say xls xls x underscore data is equal to then we say uh, 
st underscore as underscore s s f s f then we pass in the xms data so this one our points dot xls x so i say control v uh, um then the next thing is to define the coordinates so i say chords chords equal to since we have the longitude and latitude in our data so i'm going to say equal to um, the c or the character then i pass in the longitude longitude and then the next one is uh, latitude like that way right? then i also have to define the crs so i say comma then crs equal to 43 to 6 okay so i can run that then uh, the next thing is um to save the the the, the shape file now in in our to save the shape file in our folder or in our system so here i'm going to say now i can write a comment and say save save the shape file in the folder right then i say st underscore right st right then xls data control c control v and then i say dsn is equal to the shape file path yeah so this is the 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 the, the name of the shape file so it is called the shape file path okay so i can run this now you can see it is uh telling us that the layer output in data set output dot shape file already exists so use either append equal to true to append to layer or append equal to false to overwrite layer if i go back to the folder where my data is saved you can see we have another shape file so i was trying to do this before i recorded this video that's why you can see we have the output dot dot shape file so I think we can use this code to correct so that we can overwrite the the shape file so which says append equal to false to overwrite the shape file so i can i can use that one here then uh, i think i can run mm -hmm. so writing layout to data source out output dot shp using driver sh shape file okay now if we go back to here we can see we have the shape file if um if this is not true then we can actually delete this shape file from here and um, just try to run the code on our own right so here I want to say I can I can run the code again then come back and now you can see we have the output dot shp right so this is how you can convert the xls file to shape file thank you for watching the problem we are facing here is that the the shape file the shape file is not saving with the name we defined up here it is saving as output since i had already uh, done this code before and uh, i used a different variable here to define the shape file i think it, it was still using that variable name to save or to write our shape file in the folder 
So I've tried to change the file, the variable name, not the file name, but the variable name to shapefile data instead of shapefile data path. Yeah. So if uh, we run this code, since we want to save the shapefile with this kind of name, final underscore points dot shp, not as output. <coughs> Because we want to see if the code is actually working. So if I run this code, now we have the shapefile data and uh, copy the variable name, come here to DSN and paste, and then run. So we can see it saying writing layer final points to data source as final underscore points dot shp using driver s3 shapefile now if i go to the folder here you can see we have the final points that means that the code is working fine and now we are getting the required or the desired results so thank you for watching uh we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you